The Matrix movies were an overall excellent exploration into the idea of simulation theory, something I've covered myself on the main channel. But that take on simulation theory had one flaw. There are easier and more efficient ways for a super intelligent supercomputer to generate power for itself rather than making billions of humans into batteries. It's better to just wipe us out and build a fusion reactor. But simulation theory was not the only concept advanced in those films. In addition to that was the idea of instantaneous learning. Neo was able to download martial arts skills into his brain directly. While it won't be through the same mechanism, if our universe is a computer simulation it does not appear to allow downloads of that type, the concept of downloading information directly into the brain is sound and someday will probably be possible through technology. Direct technological interfaces to the human brain are already here. Within the field of medicine, such devices directly implanted on or inside the brain are already helping severe epileptics to reduce the frequency of seizures, and there is even an interface that allows paralyzed people to operate a robotic arm through brain impulses. There's even a case of restoring the ability to walk, although not perfectly, to a paralyzed monkey. These are wonderful technologies that promise to eventually help millions that just a few decades ago there was little that could be done for them. It's really a wonderful and positive thing to see, and while medical science seeks only to improve the quality of life of patients, it's inevitable that others will look into using developments in biotechnology to improve humans themselves. While we're nothing close to implanting chips that give us instantaneous PhDs, the brain remains a very complex and mysterious thing. In fact, it's perhaps the most complex and mysterious thing we've yet found in the universe. The simple fact that we can store memories naturally in our brains would imply that it should be possible to duplicate that process artificially, eventually. A lot of other things come along with the technologies such as this, ranging from what amounts to telepathy where thoughts can be sent wirelessly to other people. In a rudimentary form, this has already been done, and it's a technology that should be developed. Imagine how such a thing could help those who can't communicate. But it also has a dark side. The specter of reading other people's thoughts or even hacking someone's brain come into play. I go into that in my upcoming book, Supermind, in fact. But I think ultimately this will be a self-limiting technology. Not enough people will want to take it too far to justify its commercial development. We've seen this with human cloning, at least so far. Sure, we can do it, but so far everyone's avoided it despite the fact that it's been possible for several decades. So yes, instantaneous learning is probably possible, and we may do it someday, but it's going to be a while, and maybe more limited in scope than some predict. Thanks for listening, I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently wishing I had a brain implant to help me learn all these new video editing and graphics programs I have, and be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer, and subscribe to my channel for regular, in-depth explorations into the world of futurism, science fiction, and the science behind it.